finally did it. I can't actually believe that I did this. So people keep saying, who challenged you to do this? It, it, the UK Metro Network set the Fireball Challenge and people could choose their own challenge. So I chose astronomy sketching and I set my own time limit on it. I wanted to do it for two months because doing something for a month, yes, it's quite hard to fit this in the day, but in a month you're like, yeah, that's fine. And the month flew by. The first month was just over with before I knew it. Doing it for two months meant that it would become more part of my day, like a routine part of my day. Not just from a mindfulness perspective, but because I actually love sketching. And recently I've been finding it hard to find time to just sit and sketch for the sake of sketching. Not necessarily at an eyepiece, but just do some astronomy drawing because I love drawing, I love astronomy. So bringing the two together is something that just makes my heart happy. And so making myself have to do this for two months was actually really good. There were some days where it was quite hard. I've, I've had a rough time medically the last couple of months and there were some days when I really wasn't feeling it, but I did it anyway. And I'm really proud of myself for doing that because it would have been very easy to just say, do you know what, I've done the month, I'm done. But I'm like, no, I'm going to finish this. I said, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it. Um, one thing that I found, I was hoping that I would get faster at sketching and just be a bit freer with it rather than constantly agonising over making something photo real. I didn't quite get there, but some of my later sketches I was doing a little bit faster. I'm still finding myself agonising over tiny details, but that, that's just going to come with time. But one thing I've really enjoyed is learning this new technique of just scraping a bit of the pastel pencil on the page and blending it with a dry fluffy brush. That gives you a translucence. It can, by carefully placing where you want it, you don't get any harsh lines. You can start off with a thin layer that just gives you this hint of nebulosity. You can add highlights to it, looks like star glow. It's just such a versatile technique and one that I'm definitely going to do more of in the future. There's been quite a few things I've had to sacrifice this two months to fit this in because I've been pretty busy with work and I haven't had any time to do bass practice beyond my usual slot during the week when I get together with my guitar player. I haven't done much reading. So my evening routine, instead of going to bed and reading for a while or watching some junk on YouTube, has been to just sketch late at night, just get my stuff out and do a sketch. And actually, as a before bed activity, perfect. It's relaxing. It just calms me down. It really is a mindfulness kind of thing. It's like a meditation, just sitting there and concentrating on that one thing. You're so present in that moment, creating that sketch and that's just perfect. So although I'm not going to do this every day, make myself do it every day, I'm definitely going to make sure that I don't see this as something I shouldn't be doing. This whole kind of idea of being kind to yourself. If I feel like doing some sketching, I'm just going to do some sketching. I don't need an excuse. I don't need to be prepping for something. I can just sketch because I want to make a sketch. And so, yeah, and I'm hoping as well that I can bring some of the techniques that I've adapted um, during this challenge to actually work at the eyepiece. I didn't get many opportunities to work at the eyepiece during this two months, partly weather related, partly because it doesn't get dark till so late at the minute. And I, so I've ended up, I did some eyepiece sketches, but very often I've just had to work from photographs, but there are definitely elements of what I've been doing this last two months that I am going to bring to my IP sketching in the future. I tried to make it a variety of different objects and, you know, I was getting to a couple of days ago and I'm like, oh no, I don't have time to do all these objects that I'm going to draw, but it's okay. I can still sketch now. The challenge is over. So if you've made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for, for sticking with me and listening to me rant about this, but it, it's been a really special experience and I've really enjoyed it. Um, tell me in the comments below what was your favourite? Which one did you like best? Um, I always find it interesting how other people see my sketches because the ones that are my favourite very often aren't other people's favourites and so on and so forth. So let me know which you liked and let me know if you're thinking of trying any sketching yourself having seen this video. Okay, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like astronomy content and I will see you in my next video. Bye.